EJ Treasure Skill Acquisition and Empowerment Program ESEP is a corporate social responsibility platform of EJ Treasures, a catering and event management company designed to provide highly acclaimed catering and event management services that set industry standards in Nigeria. EJ Treasure is a food business company, basically. We cater for events, both corporate, social and indoors. EJ Treasure Skill Acquisition and Empowerment Program is designed to empower 10,000 youths in five years to become financially self-sufficient. ESAEP is a free um, skill acquisition program that we run monthly. So the E means EJ Treasure, then the S stands for skill, A is acquisition, then E is empowerment, then the P is for program. Our focus training areas include catering, leatherworks, digital marketing, cake making, graphics design, makeup artistry, photography, event management and interior decorations. Every month in the last five months, we have empowered over 200 young adults in different technical skill areas, as well as help our trainees to decide where they want to play in their choice industry value chain. I love to help People. Sometimes I feel, in fact, I remember a day in church, I worship in Daystar, and I, I met a, a guy, and I was just crying. I told him, I feel like helping people, but I don't have money. I feel I don't have enough money. But the guy said, well, you, are, you have so many things. You have your skills, you have your, so it's something. And, I, and you know, that gave me this boldness to, to start. I've always loved to help, but there, there's always been this limitation that I don't have so much. I don't have money to help people. But after I discussed with that uh, friend, and he said, you can, you have something, except you don't know that you have something. And he encouraged me. I realized I have so much in me. And since then, I just believe that I have so much I can help anyone. And that was what led to giving, that was how I started the skill acquisition program six months ago. My name is Ola Biokwem Samuel. I'm 19 years old, going to 20. I was, I'm a fatherless child. I was brought up in the street. Before, uh, when I was 10 years, uh, 15 years old, I was in school of Ifakoja, a senior comprehensive high school. And I was so stubborn to the extent that my mom used to come to school every day. Uh, they would talk from one problem to another, mommy cry, all sorts of things. So when my mom said I was, she would, the principal said that my case was, fed up for her. So she said that she leave the school. So I left the school. I don't have anywhere to go there, any other school, any other public school to go. So I was working from one place to the other, uh, working at bakery, factory, selling markets. So I found out, find out myself in, in bread. I was selling bread in the old of, from college to Fagda. That was my emotion, I used to sell my bread. So one day, one uh, fateful day, I saw our mommy, uh, mommy Elizabeth. So she bought bread from my hand. That day, she told me that I should keep it up, that she loved the way I used to sell my bread. So I was happy. I was selling bread more and more, getting stronger and selling bread more and more. So the next day, she came again, bought the same, she, the same person, bought the same bread from my hand. He told me the same thing. So I was having courage that, uh, that I'm, I'm good in selling bread. So after that, she now told me the third day that, can I come and see her in her office? I said, okay. So I came to her office then. She told me some few things about her. And she, I told her some few things about myself too. So she told me that, can, what homework did I want to learn? Fortunately, that's the work that she's doing. That's what I wanted to learn. So she told me that she's going to help me in my catering life. So since then, I have noticed that there are a lot of changes in me. I said, would he mind coming over to my office? And he said, yes. So I invited him over and I interviewed him. I asked him, what would he like to do? He said he would love to learn more on catering and another skill, maybe, he said something on another skill too, but the one that interests me was that he said he's interested in catering, that we want to learn any, everything 
um, that involved that involved catering. So I said, okay, invite your mom for security purpose because you know these street guys, you still have to be careful of them. So I said, okay, go and call your mom. The mom came over. I asked the mom, why did you ask this young boy? I mean, why did to sell? And the mother said a lot. He lost his father. He did this. I said, okay. Do you believe in him? Do you believe he can still become someone in life? And he said yes. So that was how the journey started with Samuel. There's a lot of experience I've seen, but I can say that one, my behavior has changed. The way I, are, I was before, that's not the way I am now. What I can't do before, I'm doing it now perfectly. Like bread. I love bread, but I do not know the way they used to make it. But with the help of our mommy, Mrs. Elizabeth, I can make bread now. He has really, really impressed me, honestly. The first practical class I had with him, in fact, the others that were even more privileged than him, they didn't do as much as he did. He covered a cake, because we had a butter, uh, buttercream session that day, and he did it well. In fact, everybody was amazed. And then any time we are in practical session, it's always, you know, that energy is there to do things, you know, but just that, he needed to, to put it in a positive way. So. He's always ready to work. He's always ready to do things. If you teach him today, by tomorrow, you will see him putting effort to get it, I mean, to practice. So that was why I was like, okay, this is someone that we can put interest in and probably and help him in our own little way. As for now, with the help of our uh, mom Elizabeth, um, I've written my, uh, uh, my Waek and Neko with GC. So I'm now planning to write jam. By next year, I'll enter school after my graduation. Um, if you have partners and sponsors to help us to touch and to expand more, to touch more lives actually, and to even do more. For someone sometimes that is even, I call him my son, everybody knows I pay his practicals, I do everything for him. But sometimes I'm like, ah, I don't have money, this is what I have, I have to manage. So if I have sponsors or if you have sponsors to help us or if we have people that can just take take this one, take that one. You don't have to necessarily come and give us money. If you can help us I mean take um, the responsibility of those ones we are we found on the streets or we see that they need, we can go and look for them. And if our partners can just take their responsibilities, not necessarily bringing money to EJ Treasures or Saeb, I don't know. But those lives are the what is important to us. So if we have partners, it will help us touch more lives. The first month that they start the program, EJ Treasures start the program, I was here. So the end of it all for today was asking some people what they are doing. So she asked me, I told her that for that moment that I'm not doing anything, that I'm staying at home. So it was saying that I should join them for scholarship. And I was so happy because I was looking for that opportunity. But that day, I got the opportunity so the following day, I came to her and told her my situation about my husband and all that. She understand, he said no problem that I can join her. And to the glory of God, since then, I can see some changes in my life because something like cake, I can make two or three types of cake without somebody's help. The people I've met in Egypt Treasures, they are not like people that I was with outside there. People that I was with outside there, they were bad boys that they don't think about their future. But with the help of people I'm meeting here, I know there are better things in life than being in the streets. We intend to train 10,000 um, adults and young um, adults in five years, which we have started in about six months ago. We've been able to train about 200 to 150 in a month. And sometimes we put banner in front of our office and people come and like, they will peep. 
I'm like, are you sure? This thing is actually free because there's nothing free in Nigeria. I said, no, there are free things actually. Maybe you have not gotten to the right places that it's actually free. And there will sometimes, when, when they call me, they will look at me and they will like, ah, okay. They will sit down with one leg until the end of the program. They will not ask them for anything. So usually we send out flyers and put um, ban um, banners outside our, our office. I appreciate it all for what DJ Treasure has done for you. I will advise them to come and get this type of training I've got it. Because if they can, if they say they want to be in the street, I'm sorry for them, they can't, their life won't end well. And as you can see now, I know where I've reached with the help of EJ Treasure. I don't pay. I, I, I told my boss, Mr. Barry, one day, and he told me that, ah, that how do I want to go about that? I even know is that can they, that should we still ask them to pay for the materials? And I was like, how much can they pay? And I said, okay, but he's just looking at, okay, how can we get money? I said, and for me, I don't like asking people for money. Even when I, since, my, since my, um, my young age, my parents know that, even my husband, I don't like it. So, let me just do the little I can do. So what I've been doing is the little I can do. If I, per month, I'll, I'll just look at, okay, this is what I've made this month. Let this percentage go into the skill acquisition program. And that's where we've been running it. I will also help people more than the way she helped. Because that would say, do unto others, what you want others to do unto you. My name is Elizabeth. I'm the CEO MD of VG Treasures Catering and Events. The, the testimony has been encouraging because I would have come back to another line or another area if not that this business has put so much on my table. You know, the feedback in my office, I don't have a big big um, big board but yeah people keeps coming sometimes in the month we do like five six eight events and people wonder ah, there's no sign board now how do people get to know you so i believe that is a referral people keeps telling uh one and one another about us in this sixth edition of ESEP, we will be showcasing some of our trainees who successfully completed our program with a practical project work to show which has to do with food, both oriental dishes and African meals. We do pastries, shawarma, hot dog, um, burger, donut and all of that. We do cake making and decoration, sugar crafting, drinks, in light of cocktail, mocktail and um, smoothie. And we also train in event planning. If we have partners, it will help us touch more lives and make their, their, their dreams come true. Because the, the, by the time someone will graduate, now it's going to need so much. It's going to need equipment, it's going to need, which I pray before then, if I have money, I'll provide it.